tell what you were thinking, babe Your thoughts are only getting louder While you are up in space, I sit here by myself Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another lockdown weekly vlog. I am having a small portion, portion of oats with honey because I'm gonna go for a run, run and stair sprint. So I just wanna make sure I've got something in my belly for energy. And my ex was a very good runner and he always used to tell me to eat oats. So ever since then, I've eaten oats. I would have thought that it would be too heavy, but I eat it probably half an hour before I go. And it's a really slow releasing energy source. I've never gotten a stitch from this, which is good. A banana would probably be good too. The only thing I think about is um, when I'm running, like if I burp, I don't really want to be burping the taste of certain foods. Like <clears throat> I feel like if I'm running, I don't want to be burping the taste of banana, but honey oats is quite nice. I don't even think I've ever burped the taste of this. Honey has the zoomies, or well, she's just had the zoomies and now she's like guzzling water. She is, she'll come out right there. Ready? Honey! 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 Are you still in a psycho mood? You are. <laughs> you probably just saw my whole bum. Anyway, what did you guys think of last week's vlog? If you're not even up yet, by the time I'm asking you this, it's not even been edited. But tell me, is it good? Was it good? Are you gonna spill the truth or waste your life away? Sitting on your fingertips so I know what you'll say. Baby, don't bother, you know it hurts. And What's up? As long as you don't say that it's over now. It's over. We used to talk about getting older. We said we hold on, but now it's over. It can't be over. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh, that's good today. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Yum. I have such a big day, like a huge freaking day. I trained this morning with Noni, we went and ran stairs. I spoke on the phone to Christian, a friend. I went for a little walk and now I need to shower and then edit my butt off and get some work done. Over. I did not swallow. <laughs> the detox and deep bloat properly. Okay, I have so much editing to get done. Then I have content to shoot. I want to try and shoot some content for my friend Christian, but I'm feeling a little like chunky and gross today. Okay, I am on my way to therapy. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not feeling very open or if you will, in the mood for therapy today. I'm very funny with my feelings and emotions and I'm not feeling it today. I completely forgot about it. I was really excited to go for a walk. It's windy, it's cold, I'm all rugged up and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk. And then I got a notification that my therapy is in half an hour. So I was like, fuck. But it's fine, I am very grateful, like I need this. Um, I'm back seeing a therapist with the family stuff going on. I made breakfast to eat on the go. 
So I made chia seed oats with like oatmeal and chia seeds, obviously, and honey. Honey the the sweetener, not honey the cat. Um, I was meant to do some filming today <clears throat> for a job, but uh, it's for a mascara. But I can't do that already I've got like a little rash around my eye <clears throat> around both of my eyes now I think it's like eczema or maybe um don't know it's something dry and flaky and it's a little bit sore so I already don't really want to do it because it's mascara so it's going to be focusing around my eyes um but I'm probably going to be a little bit of a blubbery mess after this so I don't think I'm gonna be wanting to do much filming so that kind of blows my day apart um, I need to call my girlfriend Geordie Geordie Simic I haven't spoken to her in ages I bloody miss her we have booked in a FaceTime catch-up yeah that's about it I'm probably gonna have a very chill day I want to make sure I get my steps in I'm gonna go for a big fat walk the last lockdown vlog I just uploaded is doing really well you guys are really enjoying it that makes me very happy I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this through lockdown it actually brings me a lot of happiness to know that you're getting enjoyment out of it and you're watching it and it's helping you guys so thank you for engaging thank you for watching it thank you for the support and I'm so glad that it's brought you some some peace during this time it makes me really really happy so all right I'm gonna go <clears throat> I'll check in soon Okay, I've only got a couple of minutes, but I want to quickly finish my breakfast. I gotta go, I got five minutes to get there. I'm back on Good Chef, Chef Good, whatever the hell it is. I'm so excited. Also easy to just like portion size, portion control. I'm watching Melissa, little honey is there. And I'm gonna keep editing. Oh, yawn. All right, dinner is a Chef Good lasagna, which is unreal. It's so good. It's probably my favorite meal from there. And just some steam veg that I did myself, like a shit ton of steam veg. And I'm probably just going to watch some YouTube. Hi, guys. Happy. The only reason why I ever knew what day of the week it was before we went into lockdown was because of F45. Because Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays is cardio days. Tuesday, Thursdays is weights days. So whatever I trained that morning, I would have a, at least a rough idea of what day it is. Right now, no fucking idea. I'm going to say Wednesday. Anyway, I'm about to make um, breakfast. It's 11.30. I'm a bit late to the, the situ. I went and trained this morning at stairs. Um, got myself a big loaf of sourdough just cut myself a slither um so i'm gonna have that and then i'm gonna make my smoothie i freaking miss my smoothies so much um i haven't had a smoothie in a while so i was thinking this morning which made me laugh quite a lot i make so many inappropriate jokes like so many for example my mini tripod that my camera normally sits on is in my car and my girlfriend put her things in my car whilst we were training and she picked up the tripod because it is black and long and penis shaped she goes what is this and I said my dildo and it's like I can't even control it <laughs> and I just I really feel like by the time I come out of lockdown, it would be really helpful if I had gotten that under wraps because, yeah, I just, I don't need to be making those outbursts in public. Making my smooth, you guys know the deal. And it's turmeric, because I keep forgetting to put that in. Some salt, where the fuck is my salt? Where's me bloody salt? There it is. Um, have no idea what I've filmed for you guys at all because I'm useless. I am the worst. 
YouTuber ever. I suck. I'm not entirely sure why I'm in such high spirits. I think our cases today were 177. The highest it's been thus far. Shit is fucked. Uh, I think it's just because I trained this morning. That's why I'm in good spirits. Oh, imagine just drinking that. Gross. That would be fucking rank. Right. Chalky protein, but no protein co, you guys already know because I feel like a chocolate milkshake. Oh, the crunchy. Honestly, I have no idea, like, I could honestly cry right now with <laughs> everything that's going on. <laughs> and it's just been confirmed that we are extending lockdown by four weeks. <laughs> I fucking love to hear that. It's just such good news. But please, fucking protest. It makes a lot of sense. Fucking dickheads. Dickheads everywhere. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Raw cacao. Camu. At least my immunity is good. Hey, they did just announce though that I'm allowed to have a bubble buddy. So I can finally have someone at my house. I can stop eating meals alone. Which is wonderful news. We love to hear that. So I got the Vitamix. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I've told you guys. I got a um, Smeg toaster. Smeg toaster and a Smeg kettle. Um, I don't know. Love, love the Smeg products. Smeg's great. But my Vitamix, I just, I just don't really know how I feel about it, you know? Especially because it cost me an arm and a leg. I almost basically had to sell a kidney. Kidney, you get two kidneys. Yeah, whatever you have, whatever organ you would sell in order to cover the cost for a Vitamix, that's, ba that's what I did. Um, and I, I don't know that it's worth it, to be honest. Like, yeah, it's, I think... I'll feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck. Oh, see, the disrespect. Yeah, I think I'd feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck when and if I start blending hot things in it. Like if I want to make a pumpkin soup. Because um, I know that you can blend hot and cold in here. And that is one thing my old blender could not do. But, you know, oh, don't put it in the toast. But you know, like, I just don't know how I feel about it. It's just very expensive for what it is. And I spoke to Ali, Miles. Um, she's got a Vitamix. And she said that she had to return too. Like, she had to claim her warranty twice because it just wasn't blending properly. So, listen, I'll give you the hot tip. If that happens to me, Vitamix ain't gonna know what hit them. Because, like, I get that products have faults, but... When you're spending, like, this was like fifteen or eighteen hundred dollars, because I did get one of the better ones. Like, I didn't get the base model. I got, like, a good one. But still, even getting the base model, that would not want to fuck up. So, I don't know. Jury, jury's out, even though I've had it for months. I do use it every day. It is good. It is good. I don't think you need to spend that much money on a blender though. Like the neutral bullets are good. And my sister got a different one. What do I want to put on sourdough? I feel like Vegemite on sourdough is not it. I don't really want to put peanut butter on it though. Shit, I didn't think this far ahead. The red's too fancy for my piss ant brain. Already, let's, let's look at the update together. Let's see what the latest restrictions are. Here's an update on the COVID-19 situation in Greater Sydney. Also, if you don't follow the Daily Oz on Instagram, you really should. They make um, absorbing information it's easier to digest when it comes from them. The lockdown in Greater Sydney has been extended by four weeks until the 28th of August after the state recorded 177 new locally acquired cases overnight. Fuck my fucking life. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> Door doesn't even open. <laughs> so 
fucked. Damn it. <laughs> Eileen just ordered a rug and she was like, she was so excited for it to come and it's too big. It literally, oh, they've sent her the wrong rug. I take that many supplements at the moment that I use this little cup <laughs> to put them all in. Just because what I was doing, which is questionable um, and also not very hygienic, I was putting them in my pockets <laughs> to transport them because I don't like taking the big bottles out into the living room. I keep them in my beauty room. But taking my vitamins is one thing that I'm like, at least when I come out of this lockdown, I'm going to have long, luscious hair. I'm going to have glowing, beautiful skin. I'm not going to be bloated. I'm just going to be looking like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! Now I look like I'm in a nursing home. <laughs> oh, and I've been taking these. Um, they're from Vitaglow. They're called Hyaluronic Complex Hydrating Ingestible Serum. Because I am so unbelievably dry at the moment. Like, so unbelievably dry. Winter kills me, man. Absolutely kills me. Um, so I've been taking one of these to help hydrate, like, from the inside out. Um, these are so unbelievably expensive. So fucking expensive. That I don't know that I could justify it. But am I noticing a difference? Not sure. You only get a two week supply and two weeks is definitely not long enough to notice a difference. I'm just over halfway. So I think I might buy a second lot. So I take for a month and then if I notice a difference, I don't know. But for right now, jewelry's out. Spenno, very spenno. I don't know what you did, but it's all right with me. time. I'm having steak, porterhouse, mashed potatoes, steamed veggies. Oh, I love steak night. It's my thing. Where is my butter? There you are. Butter. Salt. Guys, guess what I'm teaching you how to make? My famous mashed potato! Not even that famous. Well, actually, it is that famous, but it's not that hard. Oh my god, you guys look so excited. Okay, so we've got our potatoes in here, boiled. I've tipped out all the milk, all the liquid. So I put in. I can't give you measurements because I don't have measurements. It's really to taste, but not too much butter. Don't go ham with the butter. Um, so I do a little bit of butter, I use Nutilex, a splash, the thing is, a splash of milk. I use Zimmel, I, I've used nut milk before, it really doesn't matter, but a splash of milk. You can always add more, less is more, it's like if you're making a bechamel sauce, that white sauce in your lasagna, less is more. And then the trick that I don't think many know about, use a whisk, you don't use a masher, use a whisk. That is how you get the fluffiest potatoes and you should your potatoes will be cooked enough that they they'll match you, you you're whisking your potatoes and then the other thing that i like to do i put it back on the heat so my heat's turned off on the stove but i put it back on the hot um element a to keep it warm but i feel like it thickens it up and if i want to add a little bit of milk i will but too much milk will runny it out and just a kiss of salt not too much because you should have been cooking your potatoes in salt so and then you just whisk the shit out of it and i'm telling you it takes 30 seconds and it's this like beautiful oh so good and if you're someone that likes to put cheese in your mash I don't necessarily agree with that. I think mashed potato shines on its own. You can add some cheese in. 
a little bit of garlic powder or garlic salt if you like. If you're using garlic salt, don't add regular salt, but if you're using garlic powder, by all means, that's literally it. So freaking easy. Love it. If I buy... Oh shit, I forgot to cover this steak with oil. or should we go and go? Okay, that is dinner. Um, my mum, fucking the cat food near it, Jesus Christ. My mum taught me growing up like how to present food, um, how to make shit look nice. <laughs> my mum would never serve a meal like this. <laughs> it looks so bad and like basic, like that looks pretty fucking bad. But I also don't care. I'm getting my healthy veggies, delicious mash, greatly cooked steak. I don't care. But my mom would be like, what the fuck, presentation. Eat with your eyes. Anyway, that's dinner. And now I'm having a red velvet macro heart donut because these are the freaking best. There's 15 grams of protein in this. Oh, they're so good. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I'm having some oats with cheese seeds. I woke up this morning, I went and watched the sunrise. I went for a, a little walk. Now it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna eat this, because I was really hungry. And then I want to train, I wanna do like a little circuit. I ordered some weights, so I've got like a kettlebell um, a 16 kilo kettlebell, I got two 9 kilo dumbbells, I've got ankle weight, so I want to do like a little circuit, do like a block run, do um, six exercises and another block run and then the same six exercises and do that five times. I also need to go to the supermarket, I need to get milk, oats, honey, bananas, Hey, how are you? Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. We have a moment. Ooh, package from users only. I'm working with them. So this is exciting. Oh, wow, that's going to be so nice. It's like a cute little halter crop. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, I have so much like housework I need to do today. Like so much clothes to put away. I want to vacuum mop like big house day. I just, and like I want to transform my beauty room. Like I just, there's lots to do. Yeah, it's going to be a big home day, which will be nice. Just freshen up my space. Just because it's been so lived in. And like my cleaner hasn't been coming. And my cleaner does the big stuff like the bathroom and the kitchen and stuff. So I need to do that. Okay, my battery's dying. This goddamn camera, the battery life is shit house, And I haven't had this camera very long. I've had it like six months. I don't know what vlogging camera to get. You wanna come sit outside, Bob? Yeah. Come on. Hi guys. I'm having a Good Chef meal, Singapore noodles. YouTube in the sun while I have lunch. I still have a child from training because I'm a dirty little grommet.
we good morning guys happy friday oh my gosh shooting in 4k is no joke it takes up so much space um i'm currently having some oats because i'm about to train and then i'm watching bella fiori's latest history monday um while i do that i'm just topping up my jars so i've got my Two seeds here. I'm gonna fill these up. Oh my god, you're absolutely joking. That could not have been more perfect. Did you guys see that? Look at that. That was the end of the bag. And it fit perfectly. You're bloody joking. And then I have raw cow. getting older. We said we hold time, but now it's over. It can't be over. Over. Why am I doing this out in the wind? I don't know. You kind of made it hard. I'm doing it outside so that I don't get hair everywhere. Hello, shit brick. Have you come to suck up mum's ass? <laughs> hmm. Do you have a mirror outside? Is that what you're looking into? Yeah. Now remember, you can always cut more off, but you can never put it back on. <laughs> I kind of simple. Kind of wishful about things, and you're kind of simple. I vlogged it as well. Like Say hi, Vlog. Obviously, because I'm the content queen. So tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guides bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just I have been so useless in getting this freaking vlog up Not this one, last week's Oh, so I'm gonna do it right now I'm literally posting it live as we speak Oh my god, I suck I really do suck And if any, do any of you guys follow Hello Teffy on um, TikTok. She is by far my favorite TikToker. Talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell. 